I don't know about you guys, but every time I try to learn a new concept using dummy examples or gray boxes, I end up forgetting everything. That's why today we're going to be using Airbnb's listing to learn more about auto layout. This is a great exercise because here we have vertical direction, horizontal direction, absolute position, and more. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I already explored a screenshot of Airbnb's mobile app, and we're going to be recreating this listing. And as you can see here, I also have the rule feature enabled, and that's very useful when you are analyzing or recreating designs. And you can enable that by using Shift R. I also have the icons that we're going to use, the hard icon and the favorites icon or the star icon that they use for the ratings. And I did that to make the video a little bit shorter. So let's start with the image and to have the right size, we're going to use our guiding lines here and here. And now I'll use a frame to create the space for the image. Now we can add the text. So this will be Topanga, California. I don't know if they use poppins, man, but again, for the exercise of auto layout, it doesn't matter. So I will use poppins, medium, and 14 for the bigger text. I'll copy this and it will be nine miles away. Again, press the option and drag to copy, and this will be December 7 to 12. And last, we copy again. This will be the price, and it will be a 25, and actually, I will create a separate text element for night. Now let's add a little bit of formatting. These two elements are going to be regular and a little bit smaller. So they will be 13. And for those elements, they use a dark gray. So let's copy that color. As you can see here, I don't care right now about the spacing or alignment because that's what we're going to use auto layout for. And these should be regular. Cool. These two also need to be 13. And now let's add our rating. So I will select this one, option and drag. And this will be 493. And lastly, we need our dots. And for that, I will press O and create a dot of 5 pixels. And then option, drag, option, drag option drag and last time option drag but the last two elements are going to be smaller so this will be four pixels and this will be three pixels oh it looks like a mess so let's start using our auto layout to fix this and we can start with our dots because it's really bothering me that it's looking like that so i'll select this and as you can see here, when I select these elements, the auto layout option is not showing on my right column. But if I show, if I select two of these, I have the auto layout. I don't know exactly why Figma does that, but what I usually do is just select the elements that I want to put in the auto layout and then use the keyboard shortcut that is Shift A. And I can still create an auto layout even though the option was not here. And the spacing, I want this to be five pixels and center. And the first one, I will make this white because it's a page indicator. So I'll change this to page indicator. Now we can also drag our star icon and align with these two. I'll create another auto layout using Shift A. And I'll decrease the spacing to three pixels. And as you can see here also, they align the bottom of the icon with the text. So that's a great opportunity for us or for me to show you the option of text baseline alignment. So we're going to activate this and it will automatically align the baseline of my two elements. Now let's group these elements together. First, of course, these two must be together and this decrease the spacing to three pixels. As you can see here, the spacing between these three elements is the same, but the spacing is a little bit bigger for the, for the price. So that means that these three elements need to be under an auto layout and a separate auto layout for the last one. 
So I create an auto layout for those. Let's decrease the spacing to zero and let's make this left alignment. And now let's let's put these two auto layouts under a bigger auto layout left alignment and let's change the spacing to four pixels. Nice. And now we can put the ratings and this auto layout under a bigger auto layout. So I'll select these two, shift eight again. But as you can see here, this is not responsive. So I will put this this element or the auto layout width to the same as my as my image, as you can see here. And then I will come here, there's three dots, and change the spacing mode to a space between. And now these will be responsive. And now we can work with the image. Let's put the three dots and the heart icon inside. But first, let's add some border radius to pixels for the image. I will use unsplash. And here I will look for house. Use this one. Now I can put this inside. And as you see here, I want these auto layout or this element to be always centered and attached to the bottom with a certain padding. So I'll select this frame and make it an auto layout and it will automatically change the, the spacing to hug, but I can resize this again automatically when I manually resize it, it will change to fix. So I'll keep this back to 330. And I want this to be center at the bottom. And now we can adjust the, the padding to maybe 12 pixels. And I don't need any horizontal padding. And now something very cool that we can do in 2022 or the midst of 2022 is the absolute position. So if I put this here directly, it will automatically take the position of the auto layout. So it will be attached to the bottom. But now we can select this element, go here and change this to absolute position. Before 2022, we the only way to do this was to keep this out of the auto layout or to make this just a frame. And now lastly, we can put our big image and our text under another auto layout. So select the text, select the image and press shift A. And I can adjust the spacing to eight pixels. That's basically it for the exercise of recreating the listing of Airbnb. But it's always a good practice before making this a component to make sure this is responsive. So if I adjust the size here, I can see that this is not being responsive right now. So we need to do some tweaks. I select the bigger auto layout and change all of this to fix. And now all the inner components or inner auto layouts should be fill container and also for the text. And now when I adjust the horizontal size, you can see that is responsive. Also, we can make our icon to have our constraint to be to the right. And now when I adjust this horizontal again, the icon is always to the right. And now to make this vertically responsive, we can make the image to be fill and our text to be fix because we don't want our text to be bigger. So when I select this and adjust this in the vertical space, it's also acting responsive. Cool. And now we can finish this by making this a component. And that's all I have for this video. I hope this exercise was useful for you to learn more about auto layout. And if you want to learn more about Figma, Adobe XD, Protopipe, or anything related to product design, follow me and see you on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.